Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Brown Dust video. Alright, today we're going to talk about someone which we usually don't talk about and I'm sure you guys might not care about him as much and that is Mr. Rogan right here. Alright, so Rogan, after the rework, uh, we have seen some players trying to use him for sure. And recently, I've been fighting a lot of Rogans in the arena lately. So I thought I'd just make a video for you guys out there who you are struggling on deciding who's the next warrior to build. Like, should you take Rogan into consideration? So that's the big question right here. And the direct answer is yes. If you already have Anastasia, like who would be the next warrior that you actually need? A front hitter. If you don't want Wilhelmina, Rogan is someone that you shouldn't put out of the equation and I'll give you a couple of reasons why but first keep in mind that Rogan is a little bit similar to Alec although he doesn't deal fixed damage but he has this particular skill Atrocious Wrath which will increase his damage significantly if his HP is below 99% so that means if you have Michaela that will be a bonus for sure so for all the Michaela or Ariel users out there definitely consider Consider building Rogan in your roster. He might not be the best in PvP. I'm sure most players will prefer Anastasia. Like, I can't really compare Rogan to Anastasia. They are quite different. They have really, really different roles. Anastasia is good as an initiator, but even then, most players will counter that by placing Cecilia on skip tile. So what makes Rogan good is, believe it or not, Rogan has the potential to one-shot a Cecilia. And I will show you a match later on, a fight later on in the video. Make sure to wait till the end. Let's just have a quick glance through his skills, right? So basically, if you go all the way to plus 2, plus 3, you only get minor increment. 10%? Uh, 10%, come on. 10%, it's very little. It's not a lot at all. At plus 3, you get your attack decreased to 35%. Now, that's a big deal. That is a big deal because... Wilhelmina needs plus 10 to get that 35%. So Rogan gets it already at plus 3. So he does hits twice. Alright, so plus 4 to plus 5, you get 15% increase right now. So plus 6, 7, this is where it gets really interesting. 6, 7, and 8. Alright. Alright, it's a little bit weird, but look at this. His stats weakening immunity is not just a regular stats weakening immunity. It's a permanent advanced permanent stats weakening immunity with reduction in incoming damage minus 50% so if you go all the way to plus 10 that increase even further to minus 65% now if you are a Michaela user the benefit of you using Rogan is you're gonna get a beast a beast of a warrior that can take hits no problem I've seen Rogan survive Wilhelmina with a single buff before which is insane if you ask me which is insane even Valfen with double uh, vital runes, you know, energy gut and stuff usually fails to survive a Wilhelmina. But here's the thing uh, the reason why Rogan is so good paired with Michaela, whenever Michaela buffs, assuming Michaela is at least plus 4, plus 13 and onwards, look at this you get support times 30% reduced incoming damage. So that is another source of reduction in incoming damage on top of what Rogan already has 65% and you have this another 30% so that is a lot that is a lot all right so a lot of reduction in incoming damage that means Rogan will be able to tank no problem at all now at plus 9 minus 15% that is cool incredible and of course plus 10 is where you ideally want him because you get the uh, attack bonus right here and the attack bonus right here ideally Rogan is kind of an interesting one I've seen players go with fatal and rage runes I've seen player go with two assault runes and I've seen player go with uh, like one vital and one fatal rune. Alright, so ideally it's gonna depend on what supporters you have, but I would say if you want your Rogan to like have the benefits of everything, you want to give him one assault and one fatal with substat HP. So giving him HP is gonna be awesome. Look at his base HP, like look at this. 5600 HP. Alright, so he has awesome bonus in terms of tankiness right there. Awesome reduction in incoming damage and he has this awesome HP. So these pairs together makes him a very versatile warrior. He's going to be able to take one hit before going down easily. Especially if you have Michaela's buff on him, 
his damage is gonna increase, his tankiness is gonna increase. It's just pure insane. Alright, so I'm gonna show you guys a clip right here which I fought a team with that utilizes a Rogan earlier this week. Let's have a look at that battle. Okay, so this match is against a user called Easy Peasy. You can clearly tell he has a Michaela right there. So Michaela will be buffing Anastasia alongside with Valz and Rogan. So in this case, he's using Rogan as a cleanup. So Anastasia as an initiator. So let's see how this works out. So right there, I am moving first. Look at that. I will have Asmode trying to hit his Lucius. Lucius, of course, will be able to tank no problem. Alright, look at that. Michaela buff incoming. Anastasia could not kill my Walia. So that was unfortunate, but... Valve ended up hitting my <coughs> Cecilia as you guys can see there. Okay, so look at that. Anastasia could not kill Walia. Rogan does the cleanup easily. So perfect. Initiator did not uh, get the job done. So he has one cleanup Rogan. Alright, so Rogan, ideally his role. I think Rogan can be both initiator and a cleanup as well. Alright, so Anastasia was not able to kill my Cecilia right there. Cecilia is really tanky. Really hard to deal against. So right now I'm still struggling with the Lucius right there. Alright, Vals jumping in. And I can't believe that Val Vals struggles to get rid of my Endolin. Now that was a that was a surprise. So Rogan is gonna deal bonus damage to Cecilia. The reason why is because Cecilia is a defender. So Rogan deals bonus damage to a defender. Alright, from this point onwards, it looks like you know, like he's gonna get stuck at my Cecilia forever, but that's not gonna be the case. And my Taunt is removed. Okay, so I will have Cecilia with the Taunt back. Boop. Alright, so notice that my Cecilia is cursed. Alright, and look at this. Rogan will get rid of my Lucius first. So at this point, pretty scary. So luckily my Livia was able to get rid of opponent Cecilia. Alright, Anastasia. Boom! Okay, so I was heal up. Healing is still there. Zoop! Everybody did. Rogan! Zoop! Zoop! Oh my god! Look at that damage, man! Like, you never thought Rogan could do that. Easy. That's probably the easiest kill of that Rogan's life. Alright, so... The potential of Rogan is, like much much more beyond this obviously i'm just showing you guys one battle i fought plenty of rogans before and i really think he's an underrated uh, unit right now i get it most players prefer waifus like rogan is not one of those criteria and i understand that but for those of you who are looking for a warrior and you are looking for someone who can do cleanup and can be a good initiator but you are you know you are not too sure on going anastasia you're not too sure on going Vals or anyone else. Like, do consider Rogan. Like, seriously. I'm telling you guys straight up. I feel like his damage is much more... Is much higher than most people are giving him credit for. Like, the ability of him to one-shot uh, enemies. Of course, if you have Michaela, bonus points right there. But if you do not have Michaela, should you go for Rogan? Maybe not. Maybe you want to wait until you have at least Michaela plus 13 onwards. Then you can consider building a Rogan. But as it is right now, he might be one of the most underrated warriors in terms of the PvP. He's definitely going to be very usable in the Guild Wars, Underground Arena, and Mystic Island as well. So do consider like those three areas Like if you're struggling, uh, not just in PvP but those three other areas as well. You might want to consider recruiting a Rogan. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I understand that not many of you guys will invest in him right now, especially with uh, Taylor already out right now and maybe perhaps more new mercenaries coming in the future. But it's just more for your knowledge in case you guys are, you know, deciding whether you want to build a Rogan or maybe some of you guys have him at very low skill level, like plus two, plus three. You might want to consider like just building him a little bit, maybe make, get him up. I would say plus three is good enough for you to test. Give him good runes and try him out in the PvP. He might surprise you. He might be able to surprise you. And then you can decide from there whether or not you're going to build him and max him out up to plus 10. That's where you get everything else. Bonus damage. Bonus damage reduction. Alright, enough babbling. I'm going to leave you guys alone. 
that's it for the video guys hope you enjoyed it and if you do you know what to do smash like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one have a nice day good bye